Hey, this is John Copper coming at you with um, Rejuvenation Health, a little section for the athletes. Uh, partner with Share Good Health. As you can see, I'm kind of drenched. This shirt is soaked. I just got finished uh, with a workout. Um, actually, a little, a little bit over an hour ago. I uh, haven't, haven't showered yet, so it's a good thing this is video and the uh, iPhone Scratch and Sniff uh, app is not up and running yet. So. Um, anyway, what I want to share with you is the importance of nutrient timing. Um, a lot, actually, not a lot. Most athletes go to the gym, they work out hard, uh, they'll lift weights, they'll do a long run, they'll do something like that, and then they don't eat for, I was talking to one athlete the other day, for two to five hours after a workout. You seriously might as well have not have gone to the gym. You're doing more damage to yourself than you are good. Um, you have a window of opportunity, both during your workout and right after your workout, where nutrients can be optimized. So, and what I mean by that is they're going to be fast absorbing. So, during your workout, here's what's happening during your workout. Uh, one, you want to eat a balanced meal one to two hours prior to a workout. And by balanced, I mean uh, a balance of carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Um, Dr. Barry Sears recommends a 40% carbs, 30% fat, 30% protein mixture. I agree with that. Um, so somewhere around there, most people do high carb, low fat. That's not a good thing pre-workout. The balance is going to help get all your hormones uh, rolling, you know, all, all the things that you want to happen uh, kind of in the zone. If you've ever heard that as an athlete, that is primarily what you're eating one to two hours prior to workout that puts you in the zone. It's a mental state that your hormones and all that trigger from having a balanced diet. Um, so that's the, that's the first thing. Then what do you do just prior and during a workout? What's going to happen during your workout? You're going to use up your muscle glycogen. All that means is that's carbohydrate, sugar. Think, think sugar in your muscles. You're going to start using that up. As that gets depleted, then you're going to start eating your own muscles. So what you want to do, you want to try to slow or even stop that. Easy way is a simple carbohydrate. So that's why Gatorade, I recommend watering it down. I think it's got a little much, but I recommend maybe 50% Gatorade, 50% water. Another product that I personally use uh, that I uh, really like is um, Shackley Performance. Uh, this is something that the U.S. ski team uses. Uh, 54 Olympic gold medalists, um, over 100 Olympic medalists total uh, use Shackley Performance. And again, it's just a simple carbohydrate. You mix it with water. I do 25 ounces of water. Uh, mixed with three tablespoons and that gives me 25 grams of carbohydrates and some electrolytes that you need during the workout. So that will actually slow your body's process of going to attacking its muscle during a workout. Because if you're lifting weights, even if you're doing cardio, you're trying to retain muscle. You're not trying to get rid of muscle, you're trying to get rid of fat. So the more muscle you keep, the, the, the more fat you'll end up burning. Um, that sort of thing. Okay, so during workout, uh, just a very simple carbohydrate will help a lot. Then you've got, I always start that about 10 minutes before I work out. I drink that through the workout. Then right after the workout, you've heard, you've probably heard, you've got this window of opportunity. Here's what's, here's what's going on right when you finish a workout. And again, when I say workout, I'm not meaning taking a walk around the block. I'm meaning a, you know, 45 plus minute, maybe a long bike ride, weight training, basketball, something of that nature. Here's what's going on. Your immune system is suppressed, okay? That means you're, you're vulnerable to sickness. Your immune system is lowered. Uh, your, your liver glycogen is low. Your muscle glycogen is low. So the sugars in your, in your muscles are low. And then the third thing that's going on is your muscles are in a catabolic state. Now all that means is they're eating themselves. So you've just gone and maybe spent an hour in the weight room trying to with the efforts of hoping to gain more muscle and now your muscles are eating themselves. So what you got to do, uh, you're also dehydrated, okay? So you've got to do several things. Um, you've got to rehydrate, okay? That's the first thing. You've got to restore muscle glycogen. You've got to have some sugar and you've got to add protein. Protein will help the rebuilding process. Some people though, they just do protein. They don't do any carbohydrate to uh, stop the catabolic, that's what will stop your muscles from eating themselves is the carbohydrate, and then the protein starts the rebuilding process. You've got to improve immune system, the hydration, the improving uh, muscle glycogen, the protein, all that will help, but also vitamins and minerals. When you're working out, you're sweating, you're losing a lot of minerals, 
Minerals are very important for your immune function. So basically what you want to do right after workout, they call it the, the, the anabolic window or whatever you call it. You've got, you've got about 45 minutes. I tell athletes, if you can do it, I personally do it within five minutes of a workout. If you can drink it before you get off the field, that's the best. A liquid carbohydrate, again, it can be something like Gatorade. It can be uh, something like uh, Shackley Performance. Um, another thing that I use that's, that's formulated perfectly is Shackley Physique. And Shackley Physique has, uh, you know, it's got, a, it's got a perfect blend. It's got, let me read it to you, it's got 38 grams of carbohydrate, simple carbohydrate that's going to restore that muscle uh, glycogen that you've lost. And then it's got... Uh, 14 grams of protein, so it's going to start the muscle rebuilding. It's got several uh, vitamins and minerals, a lot of your major vitamins and minerals that you want. I think it has 17 of them in it. Restores electrolytes, and it's low fat. It only has a half a gram of fat. Normally, I encourage people to eat very balanced meals. The only exception to that is right after a workout. Also, I encourage people to eat very low glycemic. That means low sugar. Uh, the only exception to that is during and just after workout. You want something that's going to penetrate very quickly, that's going to get into the bloodstream quickly, into the uh, muscles quickly to stop the muscle breakdown, then start the rebuilding process with protein, improve the immune system with vitamins and minerals, and then also rehydrate the body. So that's what you want right after a workout. That's, that's the most important, you know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but also uh, right after the workout, it's one of the most important meals that you can take in if you're training hard. So, recap, before workout, one to two hours, uh, eat a balanced meal, something balanced with carbohydrates, proteins, and fat, a couple eggs and a banana, um, you know, uh, some sort of nuts with maybe a raw vegetable, just, you know, something, a little snack it can be. Um, but again, you're trying to balance out the, the, the profile there of macronutrients. During your workout, a simple carbohydrate, Gatorade, Shackley Performance, something like that. After your workout, uh, a simple carbohydrate mixed with a simple whey protein is best. And again, that can be Gatorade and an EAS whey protein. Uh, Shackley Physique is formulated perfectly for it. It already has the vitamins and minerals as well, so that's what I personally use. But again, you're just looking for a simple protein, about 20 grams, and a simple carbohydrate, about 40 grams. And then after that, within 45 minutes to an hour, you should be, uh, be hungry again, and then you should eat a balanced meal um, of the balanced proteins, fats, carbohydrates. Again, this is John Copper with Rejuvenation Health, uh, powered by ShareGood Health. And uh, this was a little section here for the athletes.